welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today's poem is by Edward Lear, who lived from 1812 to 1888. He was an English poet and illustrator, as well as a musician, who is now known mostly for his nonsense poems and his limericks, which he popularized as a form. Today's poem is called The Jumblies, and I'll dive right into it because it's a little bit long, and it is a, certainly a little bit nonsensical, but uh, I'll explain a little bit why I love it here in a few minutes. So, dive right in. This is The Jumblies by Edward Lear. They went to sea, in a sieve they did, in a sieve they went to sea. In spite of all their friends could say, on a winter's morn, on a stormy day, in a sieve they went to sea. And when the sieve turned round and round, and everyone cried, You'll all be drowned! They called aloud, Our sieve ain't big, but we don't care a button. We don't care a fig, and a sieve we'll go to sea. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green, and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. They sailed away in a sieve, they did. In a sieve they sailed so fast, with only a beautiful pea-green veil, tied with a riband by way of a sail to a small tobacco pipe mast. And everyone said who saw them go, Oh, won't they be soon upset, you know, for the sky is dark and the voyage is long. And happen what may, it's extremely wrong in a sieve to sail so fast. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. The water it soon came in, it did. The water it soon came in, so to keep them dry they wrapped their feet in a pinky paper all folded neat, and they fastened it down with a pin. And they passed the night in a crockery jar, and each of them said, How wise we are, though the sky be dark and the voyage be long, yet we never can think we were rash or wrong, while round in our sieve we spin. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live, their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. All night long they sailed away, and when the sun went down, they whistled and warbled a moony song to the echoing sound of a coppery gong in the shade of the mountains brown. Oh, Timbalo, how happy we are when we live in a sieve in a crockery jar, and all night long in the moonlight pale we sail away with a pea-green sail in the shade of the mountains brown. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. They sailed to the western sea, they did, to a land all covered with trees, and they bought an owl and a useful cart, and a pound of rice and a cranberry tart, and a hive of silvery bees. And they bought a pig, and some green jackdaws, and a lovely monkey with lollipop paws, and forty bottles of ringbow re, and no end of stilton cheese. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. And in twenty years they all came back, in twenty years or more, and everyone said, How tall they've grown! For they've been to the lakes and the terrible zone and the hills of the Chankly Boar. And they drank their health and gave them a feast of dumplings made of beautiful yeast. And everyone said, If we only live, we too will go to sea in a sieve, to the hills of the Chankly Boar. Far and few... Far and few are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green, and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. That poem is great fun. It's great fun to read, especially to read out loud. Um, And I recommend that if you do this poem with your children or any of Edward Lear's poems, that you let them read them out loud if they are capable of doing so. Edward Lear was a landscape painter by profession. He even painted um, some of the paintings that went along with Tennyson's poems. And I believe Lear and Tennyson were, were, were pals. And he traveled all over the world, so he saw a great many places. He was something of an explorer, maybe an artistic explorer, not like a, not an explorer in the sense that Indiana Jones was an explorer, but an explorer nonetheless. And he saw the world very vividly, and he was able to capture that in his paintings. And I think that that same sense of place, that same sense of adventure, and the same sense of um, liveliness that comes across in a great landscape painter comes across here in, the, in his poems and in, in his nonsense poems. There's something very vivid about the, these nonsensical places and these nonsensical characters. But these are also poems, um, like some of, his other, some of his other poems have this sense of adventure about them, right? Harold Bloom calls them quest poems. 
And he mentions that in his his collection, which I mentioned recently, called The Best Poems of the English Language, which he curated and edited. And, and I love how he puts it. He says that they these poems are at once laments for lost love and yet weirdly boisterous. Um, and I love that idea that they're boisterous. They're mysterious and they're boisterous at the same time. Um, so these are certainly great poems for kids. And if, if those of you who are listening who are kids, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, but they're also great poems for adults just for the sheer pleasure that they can bring um, and, and for just how vivid and mysterious and boisterous they are. I think we might have time to do it one more time. Feel free to turn the episode off now if you need to, but I think I can get in one more reading uh, under the under the 10 minute mark. This is The Jumblies by Edward Lear once more. They went to sea in a sieve they did, in a sieve they went to sea. In spite of all their friends could say, on a winter's morn, on a stormy day, in a sieve they went to sea. And when the sieve turned round and round and everyone cried, you'll all be drowned, they called aloud, our sieve ain't big, but we don't care a button, we don't care a fig, in a sieve we'll go to sea. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. They sailed away in a sieve they did, in a sieve they sailed so fast, with only a beautiful pea-green veil, tied with a riband by way of a sail, to a small tobacco pipe mast. And everyone said, who saw them go, Oh, won't they soon be upset, you know? For the sky is dark and the voyage is long, and happen what may, it's extremely wrong in a sieve to sail so fast. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. The water it soon came in, it did. The water it soon came in. So to keep them dry, they wrapped their feet in a pinky paper all folded neat. And they fastened it down with a pin. And they passed the night in a crockery jar. And each of them said, How wise we are! Though the sky be dark and the voyage be long, yet we never can think we are rash or wrong while round in our sieve we spin. Far and few, far and few are the land where the jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. And all night long they sailed away, and when the sun went down, they whistled and warbled a moony song to the echoing sound of a coppery gong in the shade of the mountains brown. Oh, Timbalo, how happy we are when we live in a sieve in a crockery jar, and all night long in the moonlight pale we sail away with a pea-green sail in the shade of the mountains brown. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. They sailed to the western sea, they did, to a land all covered with trees, and they bought an owl and a useful cart and a pound of rice and a cranberry tart and a hive of silvery bees. And they bought a pig and some green jackdaws and a lovely monkey with lollipop paws and forty bottles of rainbow ree and no end of Stilton cheese. Far and few, far and few are the land where the jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. And in twenty years they all came back in twenty years or more, and everyone said, How tall they've grown, for they've been to the lakes in the terrible zone in the hills of the Chankly Boar. And they drank their health, and gave them a feast of dumplings made of beautiful yeast. And everyone said, If we only live, we too will go to sea in a sieve, to the hills of the Chankly Boar. Far and few, far and few, are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green, and their hands are blue, and they went to sea. In a sieve. This has been the Daily Poem. Thanks for listening. We'll be back on Monday with another one.